Hi, this is Brother Richard, and today we're continuing with our lesson series, Prototokos Mystery. This will be part 396. We're continuing with our lesson titled, War of the Seeds. This will be part 2. Scripture indicates sovereignty of the secondary creation will be decided by a war that will span the creation, which is currently under captivity. Romans 8.22. So as we're turning up, I've got to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Is part of the warring a ruse by the father to make the enemy believe that he, the enemy, has a chance? No. Because the father doesn't actually have to have a war at all. It's not the father. The father's put everything in the hands of the sons. Okay. Well, Elohim doesn't have to have a war, does he? Yes, he does. Why? Because it's judgment. Ah, yes. It's where it's already gone forth. Yes, okay. This is what's going to happen to right. you. What I was really trying to get to is there was never ever, ever any, any chance, excuse me, of the enemy winning anything. No. All right. So it just looks that the, way. As we said in the last, last lesson, you didn't have to have a secondary creation at all. Right. You didn't have to have any of this thing. If it was just the father and the son, when, if he did make a secondary creation, Lucifer felt that'd be the end of it. He's gone. He's history. He'd be in the lake of fire by now. But all this is for the sons. Sons, plural. Yes. Hmm. That's the centerpiece. Uh, Genesis 3.15 is the centerpiece of the whole Bible. So everything that we experience is purely for the seed. Yes. That's it. All things are for your sakes. Right. But hearing all things are for your sakes is very, very different to understanding the entirety of experience and creation is for your That's sakes. It's part of all things. It's a huge concept. You can't leave anything out. No, you're right. It does you're right. pertain to the sun. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Mr. Jones. Yes, sir. Okay. I think I'm going to answer my own question here. But we, we know on the secondary level, the humans are the lowest of life forms. Okay. And I'm speculating there. The, the, amiga, the amoeba, the microbe, this and that. I guess that's considered lower. But the lowest satiate or knowledgeable being. Mm -hmm. But that's part of our course. Our origins are from eternity and we are the highest creation. So the you know the, the, the aliens that are playing dog and pony with the human race is because they can, because the human race is a sub-life form, mm -hmm. and they can do this, all this, and, but the, has, has the Father got them duped into focusing on this secondary part of our existence? Uh, no, it's all part of creating conditions for the sons to overcome. That's the whole reason for all of it. For the secondary creation itself, for the fall, for the Luciferians, they all are part and parts of, they have place in bringing about the Father's master plan which centers on his sons. Mm -hmm. Let's go on. Romans 8, 22. <clears throat> for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. So state the fact, the creation is in captivity, awaiting its deliverance. Which brings us to the next principle. Scripture teaches the war will be fought between the serpent races and the sons of God. Genesis 3, 15. Establishing the parameters here of this <coughs> climactic event
And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, thou shalt bruise his heel. We just want between thy seed and her seed. The serpent's seed, the seed of the woman. These are the two combatants. We're going to be coming back to this scripture quite frequently okay. as we break it down. <clears throat> scripture teaches the creation knows it will be freed when the sons of God are manifested. Go back to Romans 8, 19. So the creation knows something the Luciferians don't. The word creation in, in um, creature is the same word, Christus. Verse 19, For the earnest expectation of the creation waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. So, <clears throat> the creation is the satient intelligence. The Father installed, instilled into the creation the time in which it would go into corruption. It also, he also instilled in the intelligence of the creation it would be delivered by the sons of God. For the creation has hope that it ultimately is going to be delivered. Did not install in the Luciferians the same revelation only instilled it in the creation that ultimately would go into captivity to the Luciferians. Mm -hmm. Having said that, we'll go on to the next principle. Scripture indicates the Luciferian serpent races because they hold in captivity the docile human race in perpetuity are ignorant are ignorant are ignorant of the threat of the sons of God they have no revelation knowledge of the sons of God their knowledge goes only to the human race and so in their thinking as long as the human race is in bondage in ignorance in a state of death under their control they're good and so far they have no reason not to think to think otherwise. Even though that they can hear, for example, our Bible study lessons. To them, who are they? They don't know anything anyway. They hear a million Bible study lessons. Yes. He who creates all realities can, and I know that you, you're going to know where I'm better than I'm going to even try to explain it, <laughs> but there, there are things that the Father has put into motion that soon as they're looking it's, it disappears. There is, it's, it just... <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. Absolutely. So there is no way to accu accumulate any information that's not, right. not available. I, I guess that's part of being hid. <clears throat> yes. First Corinthians, second chapter, verse 7 to 8, tells us, though in certain terms, The knowledge of Genesis 3.15 only comes through the Holy Spirit. Good point, Mr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> First Corinthians, second chapter, verse 7 to 8. <clears throat> but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. It's revelation knowledge and revelation knowledge only that gives you comprehension of the Father's plan for the sons. Mr. Jones, in, uh, in my upbringing, 
there were kids that would get the answers to the test and you know if you're if you're in favor with them then you would get you know you get access to that so that's what the father's done he's given us he snuck us all the all the all the answers all the you know? yeah. yes that right sounds suspicious he like Kim Harris, but like that. well that's the downside of it mm. brings us to the next principle Scripture teaches no one knows, not the Luciferians, not the human race, not the non-committed Christian, the reality of the seed of the woman except the Prototokos who is open to the revelation of the Father. Ephesians 1 verses 8 to 11. That's why you will hear in perpetuity when you try to explain these principles. Well, nobody else is saying this. Who are you? <laughs> well, that's for you to say. Who do you think I am? <laughs> yes. Now this is how he starts. Wherein he has abounded toward us. Us. Who is the us? Tokus. Wherein he has abounded toward us in all. A-L-L. Wisdom, and prudence, discernment. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to the good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated, there's that word again, Romans 8, Ephesians 1, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things if the counsel of his own will. God sovereignly determined that his master plan for the sons would only be known by the sons. Mm. Since we know that each group goes through their temporal experiences together, if a member of one group try to explain what his experiences were to a member of a different group. In other words, he's singing a song which only they knew mm -hmm. to somebody else. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how high in the heavens that somebody else would eventually end up. Because he wasn't part of the, 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 uh, the experience, he could never know. Yes, but you could take that to its conclusion. Okay. When they're singing the testimonies are not doing it to the other groups, they're doing it to the Father who understands totally. Right. Turn to Revelation, fifth chapter. Revelation, the fifth chapter, <clears throat> verse 8 to 11. I'm going to read the scripture and then I'm going to pose a question to you. But when you had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. They, the elders, sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. This is coming from the elder group. 
Verse 11, And I beheld, and I heard the voice, voice, many angels round about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Now, who are the teachers of the elders in this picture? In Matthew 24, verse 45, teacher. The angels, right? Yes. How many angels are there? 100 million. Who outside the teachers will know the plan of the Father at the beginning of sorrows. Outside of the teachers? Nobody. Those that are being taught. Only the teachers have the knowledge. The elders so that, don't so have the nobody. How many did you say there were? The teachers? A hundred million. That's why there's only three of us here. Yes. That's Praise why people drop out. Praise the Lord. That's why people don't want to <clears throat> take the time to see what's going on. Yeah. Because in a whole scheme of things, it's only going to be a hundred plus million that have the Father's plan <laughs> and teach it. The elders don't. The elders have to be taught by the angels. So, my brothers, you're going to see that your work is cut out for you. I see that already. <laughs> When's my hire date? You've already been hired. <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> okay, now we want to take a look at Praise the, Lord. the continuing war. It has so many different aspects to it. Scripture indicates the Luciferians become aware of the seed of the woman only just before its manifestation. Now before you go any further, I'm going back to the elevation of the Matthew 24, 45 teacher at the point of Matthew 24, 47. Since he, they appear in the heavens, who do the enemy think they are? At what point? At the point of their elevation. At the point of what? Their elevation. They're no longer on the earth. They've gone to one oh, of you the... You mean at the judgment? Where they get their, their yes, inheritance? At the, yes, at the, at the end of the uh, gathering. Uh, who does the enemy think they are? Hmm. Oh, who cares? The enemy's so busy trying to consolidate. He, he's dealing with what's going on All on right, the earth. All right, so he's not even... He's, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Praise the Lord. That, that isn't even in. He's trying to hold. These guys have come up, grabbed their estates, mm -hmm. and seen superior intelligences. They're scared to death that you know they're going to have to give up something. Right. They're not okay. interested in what's going on okay. behind them. Yes. I would think they are considered sentient beings. They 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 understand. They've been around for a while. They know. They've seen things going Far on. Far more than so yes. Now, Mm. What would prevent them from thinking God is involved in this? He is doing this to us. Well, they already know that. So the the, the question or the, the answer to his question is God. They're gonna know that God oh, is, sure. is is coming against them sure. in this form, this fashion that they've never encountered. Everything they do. Look, these are fallen beings. They got kicked out of their positions. That's the way they see things. God's the adversary. But they don't know God's plan. Mm. <clears throat> and they won't know it until it manifests in this passage. Remember the Father says, sit at my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Mm. So all this is playing out as number one, deliverance, for the creation, elevation for the sons, and judgment on the Luciferians. So analytical um, is, is outside. Survival is the main thing for them. Yes, at all costs. So what we find here, Revelation 12, verse 4 to 5.
we see this symbolic vision that's given of a woman travailing, a great red dragon, and events that take place uh, uh, subsequently to this. Verse 4. His tail, the dragon, drew the third part of the stars of heaven, he cast them to the earth. So it starts off with the dragon conquering the heavens over the earth just before the rapture. <clears throat> and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour <clears throat> her child as soon as it was born. This is a reaction <clears throat> to the dragon becoming aware first time of the threat mm -hmm. that's being presented to him coming from the woman. So it's a, a stance of aggression. He's waiting for this event to take place so he can devour it. <clears throat> How does he devour anything? Through his influence. Mm -hmm. The influence initiates the control ultimately of what it is he's trying to destroy. So he's ready for this, convinced that just like everything else that he's ever experienced is going to come under his influence. Everything else already has. The nations, the human race, everything he's come in contact with bows to his influence. This is symbolic representation of what he's going to respond to when the reality of the seed of the woman becomes apparent to him. It won't become apparent to him uh, even to the gathering. Only at the end of the church communities, just before the rapture, is this going to become apparent to him. Does this happen in a manner such as the father lifts the scales from his eyes, for example? allows him to see the truth. In a way, yes. We know when the revelation of the sons of God, the creation is in ecstasy because of the manifestation of the reality of us because they know we are going to liberate them. Mm -hmm. They meaning the whole creation. So mm -hmm. everything's happening all at the same time. There's going to be a celebration and a Yes. Displacement? Yeah, because you get the rapture, the glorification. At the same time, you're going to get a judgment. judgment. Well, you, you hadn't finished answering my question. You said it in a way. Yeah, I'm going to go into that oh, okay. description. Uh, <coughs> turn to Revelation, second chapter. As you're turning. Scripture indicates this is a symbolic representation of the Luciferian attempt to influence the Prototokos communities just before the rapture. Revelation 2nd chapter, we're going to start with verse 24. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak. Who is the they that's speaking? The Jews of the synagogue of Satan. I will put upon you none of the burden. So this is written at a time in which the influence has been allowed to enter into the church communities to test them. Remember, everybody has to be tested. His influence is throughout all the church communities. It's just before the rapture. This is a report card telling them where they stand. The dragon is over the woman, ready to devour her child as soon as it is born. His influence is seeped into the communities had very much success. There's only two churches that have commended out of all the seven. 
So he has no reason to think he's not going to be victorious. But let's go on. Scripture teaches the effect of the conflict will be twofold. Go back to Genesis 3, 16. Genesis 3, 15. I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. Note what it says. What's the ultimate outcome? It shall bruise thy head. We went. We covered this at the last session, Ezekiel 28, 18 to 19. Thou shalt be a terror, and never thou any more will be. In other words, after that point, his rule is ended. Yeah, he's going to be loose for a little season, trying to reestablish his influence, his dominion. is short-lived. He's going to wind up in the lake of fire with all the others that followed him. Should we understand that the bruising of his, the Protodicus heel, is his attack on the left-behind runner? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, <coughs> they also bruise his heel. <clears throat> the heel is a part of the foot that stays on earth. Sure. Revelation 12, verse And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant, remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. He's left behind saints. So we find that this Genesis 3.15 gives you a running account, synoptic account, of the climax of the Father's master plan. The prototype is going to be divided into two groups. One, dominating all things. The other, being left behind to work out its destiny under the Luciferian tormenting Presence. Does the enemy at Revelation 12, 5, he was standing over the woman. The woman gives birth, the Protodicus are taken up. Mm -hmm. Does the enemy recognize at that point that he's been outdone by the Father, or does he still have no idea? Oh, he's going to have a wake up call when the glorification takes place. That's the first time any body outside of the Father becomes aware of the supernatural power of God. Gotcha. And that's what causes him to be wroth and go down well, to the Well, that's, first of all, he's going to be shocked. Right. He's going to be totally out, out, out nonplussed. Yeah. And then he gets himself together. The rapture takes place. His influence now is covering the communities. He's retrenching now. And turn to Revelation uh, 13. It's going to be a continuous continuous onslaught against the saints that are left behind. Revelation 13, verse 13. <clears throat> and it was given unto him, the beast, mm -hmm. to make war with the saints. So the dragon is making war with the remnant, the beast is making war with the remnant. And to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So those that get left behind here, 
at that time are going to go through hell. We should understand, I presume, that the unsaved humans at that time are also making war with the Romans. Sure. Yeah. Be hated of all men. Every single person is against them. Yeah. Anybody yeah. whose name is not in the Book of Life, that's why the Christians are going to be together. Yeah. They can't afford not to. Uh, you separate, You. it's like a pack of lions after a herd of deer. You come out of that herd and psh, right. your history. Jonesy, because <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be a question that can be asked that you can't answer, I'm going to ask you this one. At the gathering, what's going to be the attrition rate? At the gathering? I mean, that won't make the rapture. They'll be left behind. So they still have an opportunity to salvation. They just don't have a position. Well, uh, when, you, when you're talking about those get left behind, you're talking about the majority oh. of the prototokis. So, of, of the talking. gathering, a huge percentage of the gathering is going to be... Yep. You're going to make it. 80%, you said. What's the attrition rate of them? Very few. Very few will make it. Very few left behind. Oh, okay. Most will make it. Most will make right, it. Right, right. Because their test comes before yes. the gathering. Yes. So if you make teacher at the gathering, you're basically qualifying now for glorification. So the evil servant, Matthew 24, 48 through 51, is a very small number. Mm -hmm. Yes. But still significant, significant in terms of, you know, he needs to be part of that body. Yes. Yeah. 